Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to our urban homestead. And my name is Chelsea. Today's video, I'm going to be making a chocolate sourdough discard cookie with a little Reese peanut butter cup on top. Like who doesn't love that, right? I am making this recipe in the evening because the dough does need to chill for three hours up to 24 hours so let's get going all right so to start with i have one stick of butter that's been softened and you're going to use the paddle attachment of a stand mixer going to add a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. I had to make some brown sugar earlier today. If you've never made brown sugar or you don't know how to, it's literally just white sugar and molasses. And I made a light brown sugar instead of dark brown sugar. Oh, and you know, welcome to the Hot Mess Express. So, of course I'm gonna make a mess. I'm sure it will not be the first time. All right, then you're gonna cream this together for about two to three minutes. You want no lumps of butter. You want this to be completely smooth and creamed together. All right, gringo going. Uh, so this is, there's no lumps of butter. The butter and sugar are fully incorporated. And to the butter, I'm gonna add one cup of doline. Mm. You can use either active bubbly starter like mine, or you can use um, unfed discard as well. So one cup of starter, and then you're gonna to wanna to mix this well. All right, so can see that on camera. Sourdough starter has been mixed in. We're going to add a splash of vanilla. And one egg. get that mixing and in the meantime gonna mix together the dry ingredients all right so now for the dry ingredients you're gonna need one cup of flour a teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of cocoa powder. I'm gonna scrape the bowl down and I'm gonna sift this in. I 
I do think it's important to sift if you have a sifter. Uh, if not, I'll link a really inexpensive one in the description from Amazon. They are really, really important in some baking. All right, so I just sifted it right here on this plate. You guys, this is gonna be bad. You know I'm a hot mess. I think it might be better to do it this way. So I don't make a mess everywhere. I'll just make a little bit of a mess. And then you're gonna mix this for a couple minutes until a nice cookie dough forms. All right, so I wanna show you guys the texture of this dough. It's not your typical like thick cookie dough. It is, well, it's that consistency. So this is why it's important for it to get chilled. Cause if you were to just go and scoop, it's like a, this is like a thick cake batter consistency. Um, now, I will tell you, I am not a, like, major fan of sweets. This dough right here, as is, is not very sweet at all. It's got that good sourdough tang, a little bit of sweetness to it that's well balanced out with the cocoa. Um, now, if you like things a little bit sweeter maybe add some chocolate chips or uh, peanut butter chips would be really good in this. But I'm gonna add the Reese peanut butter cups, the little tiny mini ones. So if you're not like a super big fan of sweets, you will love this dough. All right, so this is gonna get covered in plastic wrap and I'm just gonna set this in the fridge for the night and I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning. This is set up quite nicely. I'm gonna take my little cookie scoop. I should have sprayed it first, but you know, what are you gonna do? And then Bam, just like that. So I'm gonna get these all on here and then these are gonna go at 350 for about 12 minutes. Here they are out of the oven and cooled down. It appears I have a no. cookie monster in my no. house. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today, friends. I hope you have a awesome day and I hope you try the recipe. The uh, ingredients will be in the description below. As always, thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. And until next time, abundance and blessings. Bye-bye.